How's it guys? <coughs> uh, today I'm going to show you um, a workflow to work with 4K footage uh, in Final Cut Pro uh, 7. Alright, now what the great thing about uh, 4K footage uh, is that uh, it comes out really, really nice shots. But the problem is it can take up huge amounts of fi file space on your computer. And also in terms of editing, uh, it can cause your Final Cut Pro project to bomb out. So the best solution is to get it into a small codec and then edit, edit, make a cut of your footage and then reconnect the 4K footage later for your output. All right, now let's begin. Now I have shot some footage on my iPhone of my, of my, of my dock. All right, I, mean, I use image capture, but you can use uh, Apple Photos as well, but I'm gonna use image capture. I want to import all and I'm going to put it in this folder that I've created on the desktop called dog and put it in the folder 4k footage choose let me look into the folder on the desktop 4k footage yeah it's all in all right how do I know it's 4k footage though well first of all it's you can see by the quality of the image on a full screen I can also go window, show movie inspector, and I can see that it's H.264 codec and the dimensions are 4K 38040 by 1260. Now bear in mind, these are just a f these are only seven clips. This could probably work, this could actually work fine in Final Cut Pro if I don't come in because it's only a small amount of files. But if you have had to create a long holiday video or a video of you diving on your GoPro, uh, the file the f it'll be quite a lot of footage and it could take up a huge amount of space so I'm just showing you seven clips uh, as an example of how I use my workflow let me let's begin converting them now I'm going to open this uh, software called mpeg stream clip list batch list add files 4k footage and I want to add all of these to the batch export to QuickTime no, I don't want to join them all as one I want them all separate all right then my output folder, I'm going to choose dog and the folder that I've created called proxy. Um, I want to change, only thing I want to change is the codec. Now the current codec of this footage is H.264. Right? The best one to work, work with is probably Apple Pro is 422 and the good output as well. But the file is enormous. So what I usually would to work with is Apple Pro is 422 proxy. And I, I'm gonna. You can change the quality to about forty percent as long as you can still see your clip. Uh, I'm not gonna change the frame size. I'm gonna keep it unscaled. Uh, the reason being, if I change it to nine twenty by ten eighty, first of all, the conversion is gonna take a much longer. But if I add a title and the dimensions are different, when I reconnect the f footage to the the real dimensions. It might look different on the reconnected footage than it would on the 920 by 1080 footage. So change your codec, but don't change your dimensions. Keep it unscaled. Uh, we are working with Progressive. Only television works with interlaced footage because it's cheaper to run that way. So I'm going to deselect this and I'm going to say 30 frames a second. All right, now we're going to add this to the batch. And go. All right, now this thing is finally converted. All right, now um, your 4K footage. All right, now H.264 is a is a codec. It's a good output, but it's not a good input. All right, if you want to edit and you want to send it to grading software and After Effects software, it's better to convert this footage to Apple Pro Res. 422. However, it won't really give you problems if you do choose to edit on H.264, especially for a small clip like this. But in a good, but a good workflow would to make this footage um, Apple Pro, Apple Pro Res. All right, add files. Now I'm going to go back to Dog, 4K footage. Add all this. Go back to the output folder and I'm going to say put it into the Apple Pro S. Select, keep the frame unscaled and I'm just going to change this to 422 HQ and make it 100% because that, when this, when this is uh, reconnected, I want the full quality 
uh, of this footage to be in. All right, let's add it to the batch. All right, that has been complete. All right, now I'm going to close this. And as you can see, I've got Apple Pro is here and Proxy. These are the two I'm going to work with. As you can see, the difference in size. This is one gig in size alone, only a nine second clip. And this uh, proxy footage is only 205 megs in size. All right, uh, let's go FCP project. And I've called it, I've just called it dog. Let me open it. All right. I'm going to say new bin first, sorry, just so I know. And I'm going to say proxy footage. Here's the sequence. I'm going to put it in here. All right, now I want to get my proxy footage into Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to say open this, import files. And I'm going to say proxy. And I'm going to select all of this and say choose. All right, now my proxy footage is in. I wouldn't recommend renaming your original media files because it can cause trouble if you're doing if you're going to work on After Effects and Apple Color or DaVinci Resolved. Um, I reckon, but if you do rename your footage, rename all of it before you even start the MP Stream clip process. I usually keep all my clips the same name as they originally were recorded, but on Final Cut Pro you can rename them. Now, because they were taken in chronological order, I'm going to give, um, when I rename, I'm going to start by saying 001 dog, and I drag one clip onto the timeline, and it will ask me, do I want the sequence to match the sequence settings of, of my uh, clip? I'm going to say yes. Now I'm ready to edit my sequence. Let's go. Now, as you can see, I have complete, I finally finished my edit and uh, I've just done a very, very basic thing here. Uh, I'm going to show you what I have put together. Uh, let's, let's view it full frame. Uh, if you want to do that, you go video, external, uh, all frames and hit the space bar. Uh, not only have I cut this, I've added music, I've mixed the audio, balanced, balanced the audio, and I have also added a slight grade uh, to all the shots. Not the best grade, but it's just a basic one just to keep the luminance levels uh, right. I want to reconnect uh, to my 4K footage, and I want to send put that uh, on YouTube and social media. So, uh, let's begin that process. First of all, let's rename our sequence. And I'm going to say dog uh, proxy. All right. Now let's now now let's now let's quit Final Cut Pro and say yes. All right. Go back to our folder, FCP project. All right. And I'm going. This is our project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this project to dog proxy. And I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to rename this one to 4K. So I know that's my proxy and this one is going to be the 4K. In case I make a mistake, I can always go back. Now, I'm going to click on the 4K footage. Let Final Cut Pro open. I want, I want to reconnect this, all right? So what I'm going to do is, I want to, um, I want to open this folder, all right, okay, and select, and and go to this and say reconnect uh, media. So we're going to say add search location, all right, desktop, dog and Apple ProRes 422. That's the 4K codec we want. And I'm going to say choose. All right. Now I'm going to click the search button. And let's see it's in this folder. 
and it's, uh, it's once it searches one it's going to search for all of them and I'm going to say choose and I'm going to say connect all right how do I know all this has been reconnected to the 4k footage well I have to render because remember my sequence over here was set for proxy not uh, Apple ProRes 4k footage so I'm going to cancel that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say new sequence okay and I'm going to call it dog 4k and I'm going to put it in the sequences all right I'm going to import files uh, with my dog Apple ProRes and take the Apple ProRes footage now in my new sequence that I created I'm going to open it and I'm going to take this 4k footage on and I'm going to say yes so now this footage is all matched now we go to now we go to dog proxy I'm going to say command C and command paste V now I'm going to render this the reason it still has to render though is because it's still got uh, color grading and title filters that have to be rendered as well <coughs> now all my footage has been reconnected and I now have a 4k sequence but now to get it from Final Cut Pro um, uh, into either a DVD or or YouTube I'm going to start by doing what I usually do and I'm going to say file export quick time movie and I'm going to say current settings then I would just say uh, then I would just say save what I've created here is on my timeline already so I can load MPEG stream clip and I'm going to put the footage into MPEG stream clip and I'm going to say file export to QuickTime all right now I want to choose a different codec I want to choose H.264 because this is going to YouTube all right and I want to keep the dimensions unscaled because I want it to be 4k all right now let's make our movie all right now the process is complete all right as you can see now I've got one for YouTube all right so and the dimensions are still 4k and the only difference is the codec is H264 anyway now I've got a YouTube export and as you can see it's only 796 megs whereas the Apple Quad 4 was 2.35 gigs now I'm ready to put it on YouTube so I'm gonna go open Safari here dog exports YouTube choose now before I before I finish here on Final Cut Pro you can say file share and YouTube but if you look here your dimensions are going to be 1280 by 720 that's an HD footage we want 4k so I recommend you don't if you want your footage to be in 4k after Final Cut Pro uh, don't uh, don't use the sharing option rather do do it the way I showed you just now all right now we just have to wait for this to upload and I'm going to check if it's in 4k let's just not call let's not call it dog let's call it meet Sam publish all right this could take a long time to upload but once it's uploaded we can check if it's still if it's going to play as 4k footage and that's how you reconnect your media uh, from proxy to 4K footage. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thank you very much.